not only again is it integrated but it also is uh, allowing fully automatic dozing operation from rough dozing to finish grading. With the aftermarket conventional machine control systems, uh, generally, most of the time, operators are choosing to run those manually. They're using the machine control technology just for that grade information until they get close to grade. So using the monitor or in place of the stakes, grade stakes, grade checker outside of the machine. And then when they get within you know a tenth or two or close to finished grade, then they'll switch on the automatics and make those uh, last few finishing passes. And uh, that's when they take advantage of the automatic capabilities of those machines. So just typically that's how it's done. Again, but now with this machine, we're able to operate an automatic from first to last pass. And that really is uh, a huge advantage because when you think of, um, I guess just taking a, taking a step back, the dozer really is one of the hardest, most difficult machines to operate proficiently on a job site. And you know, people have seen the great benefits of machine control technology with the aftermarket systems by being able to automate and give say inexperienced operators, in experienced operators alike, the ability to finish grade to close uh, tolerances very quickly. We're taking that a step further now by automating the rough dozing portion of it. You know, often overlooked, but be able, to be able to hog out material um, manually takes a lot of skill to be good, to make every pass count. So by now automating that, again, we're taking that uh, operator variance you know, largely out of the picture. So even an inexperienced operator can make every pass count to get maximize, uh, excuse me, to maximize your productivity. With the aftermarket conventional systems, automatics are basically an on-off affair, right? Uh, you have to start your cut manually, you get close to grade, then your target uh, design, then you can switch on the automatics and take control of the elevation and cross slope. You get to the end of your pass, you gotta turn off automatics, you gotta manually raise the blade, back up, start over. So even when you're utilizing the automatics, you know, the start of the cut, or start of the pass, and the end of the pass, very much done manually. With this new machine, that is not the case. It has the intelligence be, with the machine control system being tied into all the base machine uh, functions, you know, the CAN bus, being able to uh, sense, you know, the, excuse me, be able to take the sensor inputs from the, you know, hydrostatic system, um, from the control system to fully automate the blade operation uh, really pays dividends for the operator. And again, you'll see that when we do the live demo, but as Peter said, I turn on automatics and then I can leave them on. I start my pass, I move forward, I tap the work equipment control lever down to lower the blade, and then at that point, it takes over automatically. It's going to start cutting until either A, it reaches the design surface, at which point it will follow it just like uh, an aftermarket system would, or B, until the load reaches a maximum, at which point it's then going to automatically raise and lower the blade as needed to maintain maximum productivity with every pass. So that's really uh, a key thing because with this machine, we're able to offer our customers a large efficiency improvement. So up to 13% improvement in efficiency, job site productivity reporting uh, grows in more and more importance and I guess uh, more and more popularity. But the ability that we're able to uh, map the actual surface using the tracks of the machine really gives you uh, data that's say verifiable and accurate versus uh, taking those measurements from the blade and not knowing whether the operator's got the blade one foot, two foot, three feet up in the air. Here, there's no guessing about it. It is what it is. Whatever you track over, that's what's reported. So this machine, again, designed, tested, you know, validated, manufactured, service and supported all by Komatsu and our distributors. So no longer is it uh, customer reliant on two different service providers, let's say, the base machine provider and then the technology provider. Now it's all wrapped up into one. So again, the quality enhancements that Peter talked about where we've taken uh, those technologies, those components, and now subjected them to the same Komatsu quality standards that the base machine has really is a step up for our customers in terms of overall, overall reliability and durability.